Welcome to YVR, Vancouver International Airport. Named North America's best airport 12 years in a row. But we're here to spend 24 hours in North America's best airport hotel. That's not it, that's the control tower, but it, it's just behind it. But we're not just staying in the best airport hotel, we're staying in a brand new concept of suite that they offer. And so this is where we'll be spending the next 24 hours. And uh, I'm gonna show you what the room looks like, what all the other facilities and amenities look like, and why it was rated number one seven times in a row. Are you Mello? Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. This nice is uh, Mello DM'd me on Instagram and told me that this was North America's best airport hotel. That's correct. How, how many rooms are in the hotel? So we have a uh, 386 rooms. Here. 386. Yeah, yeah. And what's something I need to do while I'm here? Oh, for sure. You have to try our pool. It's an indoor pool. It's awesome. Okay. Also the Globe restaurant and the Jetson lounge. Ooh, sounds awesome. Hang on. We're in the, we're in the airport here, Mello. Is it? Yes, we are. Is it upstairs to check in? Yeah. So we just heading up the escalators to go across the bridge and the front desk will take care of the check. -in. So you enter from the international departures check-in area, take the escalator upstairs and walk across the bridge into the lobby. Wow. You feel like you're literally above everyone else. Once inside, the hotel has clear West Coast styling, a warm lobby, including stone walls. Okay. We're on the ninth floor, and I was told we're at the end, down by the runway with a view of the mountains. This special suite is the last door at the end of a long hallway, which either means it's awful or amazing. Welcome to the Fit on the Fly suite. Wow. That window. That view, look at all this stuff. Holy cow, this is a huge bathroom. We are on the airport. So we have the main runway out there. North Shore Mountains kind of tucked in the clouds, can't see them so much. And if you look out that way, ocean view. Well, view of Georgia Strait. But that's not why we booked this room. We booked this room for all this stuff. Look, look. It has a Peloton in here. Okay, this room is all about the details. Well, and the fitness. So let's go through it and see what it's all about. Okay, let's look in the bathroom first. Shower, toilet, sink, bath. But I think this is more important because hydrotherapy, hot, cold, ice bath. I think that's for later. This is a fitness room. This is almost as good as you would get in a normal hotel gym but it's in your room. First thing you're gonna notice, big workout mat on the floor. Second is that box right there. It's called the Fit Bench. It has dumbbells, kettlebells, medicine balls, workout cables. And there's something else on it we'll get to in a second. Obviously, the Peloton. And in this corner, you have a Lululemon yoga mat. And then once you've done your workout, well, they've left out a healthy snack for us as well. If you're a fan of plane spotting, they have a little chart for you with what planes to look for. And there is near Canada flight landing right now. I've never ridden a Peloton before. I'm kind of eager to try it. But first things first. Oh, comes with workout clothes. I think some people would say, why does the hotel need to supply clothes? But if you think about it, when you're traveling, and you sweat in your clothes, you don't want to bring them with you for the next three, four days, however long you're traveling. So if I can use the hotel clothes and then leave them here, I don't have to keep stinky, sweaty clothes in my bag. These even have built-in, like, compression shorts. They even come with socks. But how did they know what size to leave me? So because this is my first time staying in this suite, they emailed me because they said, we don't have your sizes on file. What size are you? They actually pretty much nailed it. All right, let's start with the Peloton. I've never tried one before. All right. What is a Peloton? Log into my account. You got it there. Updating. Oh. We have to wait for it to update. <sighs> let's do a 30 minute club bangers ride. Alex, take me away. Now, I've opted to start with the Peloton, but obviously they designed the room to please anyone, no matter how you like to work out. But there is a specific order of things for after your workout, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now, my first thought is, this is the best view of any gym I've ever worked out in. But realistically, why would anyone want to stay here or work out in the room that they're sleeping in? I know some of you are gonna love this room and others will hate it. Why would you get so sweaty in your room and then have to sleep in here at the same time? 
But if you think about it, if you're traveling internationally, going through time zones and being jet lagged, exercise can help get rid of that jet lag a little bit faster. Plus, a little sweat releases a lot of endorphins, just makes you feel better. Now, I don't normally have people watch me work out, so we'll do this quickly, but the Fit Bench is actually pretty great. It has dumbbells, medicine balls, and kettlebells. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really happy with this setup. I honestly did not expect there to be enough space in this room to do a proper workout in, or the weights to be heavy enough. But let me tell you, this is probably the most comfortable gym I've ever been in. Did I mention the views? Whoever's in this Delta flight, they're off to either head home or to their next destination. They have no idea, I'm just lifting weights above them. I wonder if they can see me. I wonder if the windows are one-way or two-way glass. So I'm not quite done the workout yet, but they say to call the front desk and ask for the ice about 20 minutes before you want your hydrotherapy. So we're gonna do that now, and I'll finish with some more core. Hi, Megan, I'm in the fitness room, and I'm, uh, I'd like to order my ice for my ice bath, please. She was like, I feel so weird asking for that. She's like, all right, your ice for your ice bath. <laughs> While we're waiting for the ice to deliver, I might as well get started on the cold water. Uh, it's not gonna be fun. Oh, not even any ice yet. Did I say I was gonna finish my workout? What, what, I don't wanna miss the door. Better be safe than careful. Better be safe than sorry. Where did I come from? Hi. Good evening. Good evening. The ice is here. Okay. Now, in the interest of making this less awkward for everyone, I'm just gonna put on a bathing suit. But obviously, if you were in this hotel room alone, you'd do it any way you like. But for us, let me change. So it's a Nordic style hydrotherapy. Step one is a hot shower for 15 to 20 minutes. Next, step out of the shower and pour ice into the ice bath and then do five to 15 seconds in the ice bath. The refreshing water is used to reduce lactic acid buildup and release muscle tension. I'm getting more tense because of this. She asked if three buckets would be enough. Yeah, three is enough. I'm starting to think three is too many. Ah. I paid extra for this. I paid extra for this. Ah. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Ooh, I got my God. Ah. This is the least enjoyable hotel experience I've ever had. I feel like a smoothie. Wrap yourself in a plush Fairmont robe and relax for 20 minutes. Relax for how long? 20 minutes. I can do that. When you're traveling, the last thing you want to do is bring home sweaty clothes. But if you do, I use True Earth Laundry Eco Strips. This is the best laundry solution I have found. If you do bring stinky loads home like this, well, they have the new Platinum formula. It's the advanced heavy duty formula. This is 32 loads, so it's really easy to pack and bring with me when I travel. The other benefit is the Eco Strips work in either top loading or front loading machines in both hot water and cold water. It uses a lot less energy to transport and there's no plastic in the packaging. This is recyclable or even compostable. It's biodegradable. Their mission is to reduce the amount of plastic that we use in the household. And their laundry eco strips is just one way that they do that. They have a whole bunch of other products and I'd love for you to check them out. So if you wanna try any of these for yourself, there's a link in the description down below and you can use discount code Downy for 10% off. Now, this fitness suite is not what won this hotel to be the best airport hotel however many years in a row. So what was? 
Well, let's go take Mello's uh, recommendation and go try the restaurant and bar. Now, if you're traveling for work, you're often traveling alone, but you don't want to feel alone. So ideally, the dining room feels warm and inviting, but also lively. And this does exactly that. Live music had lots of people down there. It felt like you were with a group of people, even though you're sitting alone. Now, you can order off the menu, just like at any other restaurant, or you can get the fixed price menu, like I did, which includes an appetizer, entree, and dessert. It's a three-course meal. Sometimes you can go too sweet or overboard on the cake to make it. And this is, I could, I could eat a lot of it and not get tired of it, if that tells you anything. Well, that was a lovely evening. I'm starting to get it, but we're not there yet. Mello had another two recommendations for us, which I think we need to see in the morning. And it's a beauty of a day. Look at those mountains. Let's get our activity started. I mean, sure, this room and view are great, but it didn't win Best Airport Hotel seven years in a row because of the fitness suite. It's everything else that the hotel offers. We're not flying anywhere yet. We're off to our first activity of the day. Now, one of the least used offerings are the complimentary electric bikes. Just around the airport, there are two spots worth seeing. And they have these little bike lanes right here. Good to go. Look at this. Out of the hotel right there, onto a quiet back street with bike paths. Our first stop is here at the end of the runway to, uh, well, watch the planes go overhead. Looking good, bring it in. Here we go, right there. Put it down, right there. Just out of interest, I'd like to point out, this is the runway, and that's our hotel over there. All right, let me show you spot number two on the bike. So our airport is situated in Richmond, BC, and is some of the most fertile soil in the country. And the airport sits on old farmland that they bought up, but some people haven't let go yet. So there's a couple of farms here. But we're not here for the farms. We're here for what's at the end of the road. I'm not gonna lie, riding alongside the runway like this makes me feel like Tom Cruise in Top Gun. Highway to the danger zone. At the end of the road is a little marsh and bird sanctuary. This is Iona Beach Regional Park. I think you can see the problem with building a runway in an airport at a bird sanctuary. Planes and birds don't mix very well. Other than the park, the runway, the birds, the other thing you can see while you're here is the long jetty, the Iona Beach jetty that goes out into the Strait of Georgia. It's four kilometers long one way. And if you walk it, which you have to, there's no bikes allowed on it, will take you two and a half hours to get there and back, on average. And the reason it exists is it's because it's a sewage outflow from our water treatment plant, which is right there. So when you're cycling out here, if it smells a little bit, that's why, but once you're out here, it's, it's really fresh. And once you've wrapped up plane and bird watching, it's time to take Mello's other recommendation and hit the pool. I gotta say, it's not the biggest pool I've ever been in, but I really like the fact that I'm up here in a robe looking down at everyone else in a very stressful situation. Mind you, that'll be us shortly, but for now, let's swim. You don't have this in the fitness suite. I mean, picture this. You've been traveling for eight hours stuck in an airplane. There's nothing more refreshing than getting into a pool. Or even to swim right before your flight. I mean, we're going from that to this in about 45 minutes. Well, I think that's about it for the hotel and I think I can see exactly why it has been rated North America's best airport hotel so many years in a row. Well, let me know, what do you think? Leave it in the comments, I'd love to open this up. And if you have any recommendations for me, like Mello recommended I stay here, it's probably best to DM me on Instagram, at Downey Live. So subscribe, because I'd love to see you again next week. Well, I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. See ya!